We made it. A thousand subs. So really I say we instead of I because I definitely was not hitting that like button a thousand times. That was all you. And I just wanna say thank you all for supporting me and making this channel grow. So we've definitely been through a lot on this channel. We started way back in uh, October of 2017. So we've got three, three and a half years under our belt now. We've got the mini mill CNC conversion right out of the gate. So I'm not gonna bore you to death. Um, honestly, I couldn't even sit through them all. Went inside, figured out that I am doing everything correctly. Um, I actually found a video where another guy's having pretty much all the exact same problems I'm having. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. We've got all sorts of different, you know, garage and shop improvement projects like the propane heater. It is winter time in Utah and I am cold. Um, the shop vac the, with the little dust deputy thing. Definitely have our share of burned up electronics, especially when we're making those spindle speed controllers. And then I'm feeding it into a optical um, or optocoupler. That way that signal is its own circuit, its own ground. There's no mixing of grounds anywhere because that's where I was having my troubles. And that's what likes to fry things. All in all, it's been really fun and we even got the family involved here and there. There you go. Here, let me take the knife and you can tear now. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and through it all, and I think most importantly, did a lot of learning and a lot of growth. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit of a bittersweet video. It's kind of the ending of a chapter, the turning of a page, if you will, all those types of metaphors. But something big happened this weekend and something I've been thinking about for a long time and been putting off because it's a little bit emotional and didn't want to do it, but finally, finally pulled the trigger. Some of you might recognize that bench. It's where the mini mill used to live. It lived there pretty much its whole life starting when the channel started in like 2017. Over here, it's you know stained from, from coolant, mist and everything, getting between the mounting bolts and everything. So this area has not seen light for about three years. And true to any you know shop bench fashion, it's already starting to collect things. So it's doing its job well. With it out of the picture, the garage actually cleaned up pretty nice, I must say. Um, that was the main reason I needed to get rid of it is I am just running out of room here. Not to mention it hasn't been used in a couple of years. So when I decided to put this for sale, it was strictly a financial and a space consideration. It was, you know, the reason you sell anything really. It's, you know, I got this thing that's taking up space. It has a little bit of value. I could get that value out of it, probably use it somewhere else, right? And free up some space while I'm at it. And it didn't hit me until really that evening. So yesterday, a guy came over, super nice guy, um, bought it basically the re for the reason that I bought it, was just to learn how to do CNC. So I thought it was really cool. Um, and I felt really comfortable because he you know, said that he knows a, a decent amount about Linux CNC and about he's already been playing around with some of this automation stuff. So I felt good about that. I felt like the mill would actually be getting some use again, you know, and that's a lot better than just sitting here collecting dust. But then that evening came and I started kind of clicking over to a couple different old videos and I saw you know, the video of my daughter painting the little board that the electronics were eventually mounted to Try and brush it just one direction. There you go. Yeah, instead of going like this way and then this way, try and go just up like forward and back. Like pick a, pick a direction you wanna go and, and stick with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you know, all the little jokes and all the fun times that I had with it and kind of reminiscing. And it is, it's hard, it's, it's a machine, but it's also a little bit of an emotional attachment and you know, you think about some of the jobs you did on it, and I think about how stressed I was at the time, and 
you know, trying to get things done and trying to keep things working on it and tinkering with it. And then I look back and think, man, those were the good days, right? Even though I hadn't really used that mill since I got the Tormach, so it's really sat here for two years, just having it in the garage felt like that chapter was still open where I could go tinker with something. And now that it's gone, it's, you know, a hard reminder and a hard, you know, stop that, you know, many mill days are gone. Uh, it's Tormach and beyond at this point. And so I think that's why it's the most bittersweet portion of it. It's just, you know, it is what it is. It's gone. Move on with life. You know, there's, there's no going back. So that's enough sob story for you. Um, I want to run you through. My idea is I want to move my toolbox over to where the bench is, basically swap the two positions. And then I will be able to have basically this kind of stuff, a little vise, the touch off or a tool height gauge along with like my end mills that I'm using for the job, you know, all that kind of stuff right by the machine. And then as everything comes off the machine, if there's any finishing work to be done, it'll be over in this area over here um, beside the toolbox. And then I'll throw my drill press over here too. So kind of the finishing area, that stuff will all go over there. That is the idea. So in the beginning, I also mentioned kind of a start of a new chapter. I wanted to just briefly mention it, but I'm kind of trying to take a step back from the job shop um, model that I've been following here. Uh, it's just so hard when you got a full-time job already and trying to meet deadlines and the stress of all that. And I'm gonna start really this year, I think, focusing just on more personal projects, stuff that I wanna be building. If there's something that I have to make because I can't buy it, then I'm kind of assuming that other people probably want that thing too. So I'll probably try and sell a few things here and there, kind of like I've been doing, develop products and everything. But for the most part, I just want to build stuff that I want to build. It's more enjoyable and you know I don't absolutely need the extra income or anything. So, so that's kind of the goal at this point with the channel. It's going to shift gears. It's going to be a lot more automotive themed projects or go-kart themed projects. and. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of just go from there and see where it goes, you know, see where it lands. The, the big dream, I don't even think I've said that on this channel, is that I want to build a car from scratch. And that's actually why I bought the Tormach was so that I could machine, you know, solid aluminum spindles. And um, the thing I'm trying to build is chain driven, so a sprocket that's, you know, that big around um, and make custom bolt patterns in and all that good stuff. So that's where I want to kind of guide this channel to. That's it for this week. I know it's super short, but I'll catch you next time. See you next time.